Well, welcome everyone. Um, I'm Jun Lee from Cell Auto Therapeutics. Um, as you can tell from our name, Cell A to Z, we're a cell therapy company in preclinical phase uh, based in Seoul, Korea. Uh, before I dive in, I want to share, share with you this, uh, this slide. It reads different process, different results, and, and actually different um, product. Um, in cell and gene therapy, um, drug development, unlike the traditional ones uh, where the CMC and process development happens uh, during preclinical stage or later, uh, we believe uh, that in cell and gene therapy, process development must happen in the discovery phase to ensure that the cells that are um, used during the development process and also in the commercial phase remain intact and the same. So with that in mind, we, we have completed a CGMP facility uh, to support all our developments and the early stage of our commercial launch. And one more thing I want to highlight here is the RMET designation, where if you're in an intractable disease area um, with the RMET designation and Sakigaki designation in Japan, uh, the path to the market is much shorter and cheaper. Um, cell Therapy 1.0, this is the first generation cell therapy development. Um, in, in that time, um, the more focus was on the stem cells themselves, where they're originated from, how they're separated. Uh, so um, when you look at MOA, it's mostly explained as um, immunomodulation. And uh, most of them were autologous and not live formulation, so COG was qu quite high. And whenever a um, donor was involved, there was a variation in efficacy due to lot-to-lot -lot variation. But in Cell Therapy 2.0, the companies are more focused on the functional cells that are differentiated from the stem cells. So you get to see more clear MOA and uh, regenera actual regeneration happening and also changes in the microenvironments. And the products are mostly allogeneic and frozen formulation, so off-the-shelf um, off products are possible now. Now, uh, how does Cell Therapy 2.0 and Cell Toes are different? Well, for one, uh, we, we have a confirmed CMC um, with uh, confirmed CMC that ensures uh, with good quality control that the efficacies will remain consistent. And more importantly, we, we're a cell therapy company that actually owns a prop proprietary cells that, that have composition of matter patents. Uh, this, is, uh, this is summary slides of the two programs um, that, that I will introduce uh, today. One is musculoskeletal stem cell. Um, it's an IP protected cell that can differentiate into different musculoskeletal systems such as cartilage, bone, muscles, and tendons, etc. And it's derived from human embryonic stem cells and, and even IPS. An initial target indication for this cell is osteoarthritis of knee. Uh, the second one is neuronal regeneration promoting cell uh, called NRPC in short. It's derived from tonsil MSC and uh, it helps the regeneration of uh, nerves. Uh, so our initial target indication here, here is Charcot-Marie tooth disease. And if successful, we think we can expand into other peripheral neuropathies and even into spinal cord injury. I'll introduce MSSC first to you. MSSC is uh, protected by a series IP, including a composition of matter patent. And it's derived from human embryonic stem cell, and we differentiate them uh, into MSSC. Uh, in 2017, we filed a um, couple of patents, which are now approved in US, Europe, Korea, and Japan in 2020. And in 2018, uh, Longacre's group at Stanford Medical School has identified the existence of naturally existing human skeletal stem cell from the bone marrow. These cells are similar to ours, behave similarly, but uh, we, have subtle, we notice subtle differences in our markers, uh, so our cells are different. That's why we received an uh, approval of our IP. And unlike this naturally existing human skeleton stem cell, cellulose cells can be mass produced for clinical and commercial use. Um, I want to share with you the, our, some of our test results. Uh, this is a mouse four limb model. If you see the photos there, the, we've actually severed a portion of the bone so that no natural healing can interfere. And as you can see, the, the empty photos, um, there are no bone growth. However, with the uh, injection of MSSC, uh, by week five and week seven, you can see the formation of the bones. And uh, we believe the, the bones are of human origin. The slide, uh, the photo on the right actually is more clearer because the green, uh, the green color stains are the cartilages that are formed in the knee joint, uh, in the joints of the mouse, and, and those are of human origin, which means our MSSC that were, that were injected actually formed and regenerated into the cartilage of, of the rat. 
Um, this is a preliminary da data. And uh, the, uh, the focus here is that um, it, it, we injected direct injection of our frozen formulation of MSSC into the knee joints. And the graph that you see, um, whether our MSSC was uh, washed with PM PBS or, or, or not washed, you probably see the similar results there. So we still have a lot more work to do, but um, our target indication is osteoarthritis of knee, uh, more specifically grades two and three, using di uh, direct injection and not surgery. Because we believe uh, the environments in the knee joints um, are favorable for our MSSCs to differentiate into cartilages only and not into uh, some other uh, bones or anything else. Now I want to switch gear to NRPC. Um, our target indication is uh, Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease. So what is Charcot-Marie Tooth Disease? It's a, it's a rare genetic disease um, uh, that are pretty uh, well known in Korea because uh, two of the richest families are suffering uh, from this disease. Um, Overexpression over of PMP22 genes uh, would cause the person to gradually lose motor ability and sensory impairment um, and as you can see in the photos, uh, the disease starts from your feet and uh, hands and gradually works up the body. And it's very debilitating. And it's a rare disease, but uh, one in every 2,500 people are afflicted by it and about 1.5 million patients worldwide. And it's obviously you can get drug, uh, orphan drug designation in Korea and US. And the CMT1A is the most prevalent type of CMT. And for cell and gene therapies, um, fast development is possible using our MET designation in US and uh, Sakigaki designation in Japan. Um, just to give you more background to, uh, to the disease, um, what is Schwann cell? Schwann cell is, is a cell that actually uh, covers the exon like the sheath. And uh, whenever a, a defect occurs in Schwann cells, demyelination happens and muscle atrophy results and then sensory impairment also follows. So, so in developing a therapy for CMT, we believe that decreasing Schwann cell defects and also decreasing muscle atrophy are uh, the most important aspect in our mind. Um, as I explained before, NRPC, neuronal regeneration promoting cells, um, help um, regeneration of of nerves, and these are derived uh, from tonsil MSC. And our goal here is to help use NRPC to help uh, regeneration or remyelination of of the of the peripheral nerves, and so that the motor abilities can be um, re restored, and even sense uh, sensory impairment can be reversed or slowed down. Uh, let me show you. Uh, our uh, mouse, uh, mouse test results. The Trembler J mice are, are uh, made through point mutation. Uh, so the resulting mouse has actually a severe form of CMT1A. Uh, the video on the left is the normal mouse. Uh, it behaves just like any mouse. One in the middle, it's a, P, it's a Trembler J mouse. And you can see that it doesn't move at all. The mouse on the right is the same Trembler J mouth with one single dose of NRPC uh, treated. It's about 12 weeks old now, and you can see that the EPFs are similar to, to the normal mouse. Now, uh, this is a rotorot test result. Um, you see, uh, look at the graph in the middle. The white bar is, is, NR, uh, is a, a Trembler J mouth without NRPC, and you can tell that it just drops off the rod um, but the, the bar in the black is the Trembler J mouth with our NRPC, and by week 10 or 12, uh, it hangs on over a minute. So we can tell that the, the strength in the muscles are, have increased or restored. Uh, so, so what happened? Um, in short, we think remyelination of uh, sciatic nerves were observed, uh, resulting in strengthening of muscles and increased mobility. Um, Picture A in red is the exons, and the uh, image B is myelin. And so image D is, you see red enveloping green, that's, uh, that's the normal mouse where myelin is intact. But image I, uh, it's the Trembler J mouth, and uh, you, you, can, you can see that this is completely dysmyelinated. But image N, when we inject NRPC into the uh, TRJ mouth, you see uh, a remyelination happening. You can see the green color enveloping the red, which are exons. 
we think this is one of the MOAs. Um, as you know that there are nothing approved uh, for CMT, and if you see the drug development status list, that we're the only cell therapy company um, targeting a CMT. And we already have formed um, good relationships with the KOLs and the patient advocacy network. And uh, Susan from um, CMT Research Foundation has been a great supporter, and a Dr. Choi from Samsung Hospital, who, who treats 90% of Korean patients, will collaborate with us in our clinical trials. Other specialists in, uh, are also in contact with us. So um, our schedule for these two uh, in, in our pipeline. Uh, for NRPC, we expect an IND to be filed before the end of the year, and we expect to enter into phase 1-2A in 2022. And MSS as C, even though it reads uh, IND filing in 2022, uh, we, uh, we are accelerating the work and we, and we expect to file an IND before the end of the year. Uh, we're a company uh, established three and a half years ago. We have about 41, 45 people actually working mostly in R&D and GMP. And our CEO, Dr. Lim, uh, he's an expert in cell and immunotherapy. Uh, he was instrumental in uh, getting a first um, cell therapy drug approved in 2007, which are still popular in the market. And he was also an author of uh, a second generation cell and gene-based therapies by Elsevier last year. Uh, that's it. Uh, that completes my um, presentation. Any questions I can entertain? Well, thank you for nice presentation. Any question or comment? If not, uh, there is a simple question about the sarcomaria tooth disease. Sure. There are many protein drugs or gene therapy drugs is also developing. Mm -hmm. And how do you see the difference between your cell therapy and those drugs? Uh, well, um, we understand that there are some um, a clinical, uh, clinical trials going on, mm -hmm. but we, th we think you know, getting the, the gene, right genes to be edited precisely is not an easy feat. Uh, so we feel that um, you know, the patient must experience uh, improvement in muscular strength and mo uh, motor abilities. And uh, I think uh, our way of approaching uh, restoring the peripheral nerves is, I guess, is, a, is a sort of a easier or a better way at this time. And I'm pretty sure in later on, there will, once the gene editing becomes more uh, precise, uh, we can see those drugs in the market. Okay. 